Hey there Taurus, this is Renee and welcome back. Taurus, this is going to be a reading. How does your person feel about you at this moment? Okay, what's going on in your relationship? How you feel about them and where your relationship is going? Okay, so we're going to take a look at your energy and your person's energy. Now be mindful that your roles can be reversed. So, take it how it resonates, okay? Okay, beautiful energy. Let's go. Okay, we have failure. I understand that the mistake, a mistake, is only an opportunity to learn. Okay, so that's for your person. And we have trust. I accept that my inner voice will always guide me correctly. That is for you, okay? So there may be something that your person may have failed and they're kind of worried that, you know, you're kind of seeing them in a different light. You're not seeing them the same way and you're kind of trusting the situation. Um, you're, you're trusting that this person is going to do better, you know. Um, let's take a look at the energies. How does your person feel about you? at this moment how does your person feel about you and i just want you to let uh wanted to let you know that these readings are timeless okay we have the nine of wands so your person is feeling kind of guarded okay they're feeling kind of guarded at the moment they're not quite sure how to feel about the situation um they feel like they've let you down and they they really want to make things up to you okay um but they feel like you know they failed in this way and it, it's very strong how they see about you is the two of wands lots of wands in this relation in this uh reading okay and how they feel about the relationship is the three of swords Okay, your energy, how you feel, is the Empress. Okay, so you're still, you're still very um, connected to this relationship, even though this person may have feel like they failed. That you, you know, you're still connected. You still have a lot of faith in this person. You still have faith that things are going well. That you know, it'll all work out for the best. You know, you're not backing down out of this relationship because they failed or, or because they did something that may have, you know, put you in some kind of doubt or, you know, um, may have hurt your feelings. They, you know, you're still sitting on your throne expecting great things, okay? So I feel like for your person, okay, your person, like I said, I feel like they're very guarded at the moment, but I feel like they feel like you and them are ready to conquer the world. You know, they feel like, you know, you are this power couple. You are this, they see you in their future. They see you as someone who they are able to build with, to expand, to grow, you know, and this may be a new relationship. So this may be something that you are going to grow into, but right now your person's heart is broken. They feel like, you know, they may have really discouraged you, you know, really let you down. And now they, they're kind of healing their emotions at the moment. So they may be, that may be the reason why they're kind of guarded. Because they feel like, you know, they're waiting for the other shoe to drop. You know, they're waiting for you to be mad at them to, you know, end the relationship. They're just feeling very discouraged and very distraught right now. Okay, so you may have to give this person a little time to work through those feelings to get their feelings back into tact. Um, because I feel like this person is in need of a lot of nurturing and you being the Empress Taurus, whether you're male or female, you being the Empress energy, you are the one to nurture their heart pain. Okay, you are the one to, you know, bandage up this heart and, you know, remove these swords. 
Okay, so let's go ahead and clarify <clears throat> for Taurus. With the Nine of Wands, we have the Five of Wands. Okay, so they're still struggling. With the Two of Wands, we have the Ace of Pentacles. And with the Three of, of Swords, we have the Eight of Swords. And with the Empress, we have the Moon. Okay, so I feel like with this energy, okay, this person is still struggling. They're still struggling. They're, you know, they're wondering. Like I said, I feel like they're waiting for the other shoe to drop. They feel very guarded. They feel like you're going to turn on them or like you're going to say something to really bring them down. You know, but they have a lot of hope in this situation. They have a lot of hope in you, uh, Taurus. They, they want a new beginning in this situation. They want you to see their value. You know, view them as an adequate partner, you know, someone who can contribute to the relationship. And I feel like with this Three of Swords and this Eight of Swords, you know, they're, they're just, they're stuck in their feelings, Taurus. They are stuck in their feelings. They, they feel like, you know, they've built up this wall around them and now they don't know how to release it. You know, they don't know how to really express how they feel. They don't know how to express their true emotions. And I feel like that's kind of leaving you feeling like a lot of things are hidden. Like a lot of things are being left unsaid. Okay? But I feel like it is going to work out. Let's take a look at an outcome <clears throat> for Taurus. Let's take a look at an outcome. Let's get an outcome for Taurus. Okay, we have the Queen of Swords, the Ace of Swords, wow, and the Hermit. Okay, look at this. A lot of change is coming. There's a lot of change in the forecast. You know, there's a turning point. There's going to be some kind of turning point in the situation where this person is going to get out of their emotions and things are going to become more clear. Um... And that's when the situation is going to change. And, you know, the feelings are going to be less hurtful. And, you know, you're going to be able to progress on. Okay, with the Queen of Swords energy, I feel like, you know, you are getting a better understanding of how this person feels. And they're getting a better understanding of how they made you feel in this situation. I feel like there's a lot of newness here. I feel like things are becoming more clear and you're able to move back to the situation. You're able to follow your right path. Okay? You've gained the wisdom from this failure. You and your person have learned this lesson and now you're able to finally move forward. You're finally able to go through this progression and see things more clearly. Okay, so let's get an angel number for you, Taurus. <clears throat> okay, what do we have for Taurus? We have one, two, three, vision. Okay, um... Your path will not look identical to anyone else's. That is what makes you unique. Remember that as you stay on the path that feels connected, and the path will continue to lead you to alignment. Let your vision be different, be as different as you are, okay? And your affirmation, Taurus, my path is mine and mine alone. When I follow my path, alignment comes naturally. Okay? So I think Spirit is letting you know to just stay on your course, stay on your path. And if you made it this far, go ahead and put in the comment section 123 vision. <clears throat> because I feel like your vision on your relationship and your life in general are changing. 
okay you may start to see things from a different point of view from you know more enlightened point of view my path is mine and mine alone when I follow my path alignment comes naturally okay so I feel like you know just going with the flow let the universe lead you okay I, I hope this helps you Taurus I hope this helps you through your situation I know that some things still may be unclear but I feel like the clarity is coming to you things will be revealed and you will be able to move forward okay so this is what I have for you Taurus if this reading resonates please like and subscribe hit that bell so that you don't miss any uploads and I have the March playlist up so take a look at your sun moon rising and Venus for love and until your next reading many blessings to you love and so much light